Okay, so you can do it whenever. So, when you move, you're going to provoke from this thing. And then when you enter its square, you provoke again. Mm -hmm. The first time you move, it attempts to grapple you. It's going to attempt to hit me? Yes. Okay. 24 versus CMD. That will not succeed. Okay, and then when you enter the square... And so then the retaliatory strike. Okay. And he is... Well, he wouldn't be flanking yet because he's not in the guy's square. Okay. Uh... Is the sneak attack included in that first round of things? I'm not sure where that D6 is coming from. Which D6? You have like... At the D3 very end? Plus 22 plus a D6, and then you still have sneak attack. Uh, the D6 is acid from the um, Della Squint gloves. Okay. All right, then it tries to hit you again, just normally, without... Uh, no, I think it's still going to try to pick you up and grab you. That's pretty reasonable. Right. Uh, oh, and that will also miss. He will take a second retaliatory strike. All right, and then you have an AOO from him doing a... Uh, a combat maneuver on you within your reach. Uh, he is flanking, and then... You're not flanking when you enter a square yet. I thought he was... Oh, You no, provoked by he... entering. Yeah. All right, so... Um, so does a 28 hit? Yep. Okay. So the third one. And then there is finally, he gets a... The snake fang at a minus five to hit when he successfully hits with a... Once per round. Actually, no, that's an immediate action. He already spent his swift, so don't do that. So now he's just going to do his final regular attack. Okay. Okay, he's dead. Erebus. Dork, bone keep all over again. Can I figure out what these things are before yes. I kill it? It is okay. knowledge... Arcana, I think. They're aberrations, so Dungeoneering. Okay, so 40. Uh, you identify them as Gugs. They are large, powered, attacking, horrible monsters with mouths for faces. Mouths for faces? Yes, they have a rend attack that when two of their claws hit, they get a bonus attack that hurts a hell of a lot. They really like bull rushing people. Any, any um, weaknesses? They are immune to disease and poison. Their lowest save is reflex. <clears throat> okay. Grease. Their weakness is loss of blood. Oh, okay. Great. All right. Their weakness is blood. Yeah. Before I move, I'm going to uh, um, activate my arcane pool. And then move over here. And then hit him. Okay, you're going to provoke an AOO when you move over there. Then I will combat roll to get okay. over there. He's grappled. Wait, isn't he grappled? Oh, you're right, he is grappled, so never mind. I'll just do it. <laughs> you don't have to. Just, just go ahead and make your attack. Okay. Uh-oh. That's a bad 38. Mess. That was weird. Eric, can you flip your camera back on? Sure. You blue shifted everybody's face. There we go. Uh, 38 for 35 will hit and kill. Okay. Uh, yeah. You hear the ironic slow clap of tentacles slapping together from the south. What does that sound like, to be exact? <laughs> <laughs> but more tentacly. To the south, a rift surrounds a flat-top pinnacle of stone and is bridged by an emerald arch. Deep in the rift flickers the glow of molten rock. Snacks, you attempt to identify this creature. You do not. It's some form of aberration. 
Is it Dungeoneering? Yes. I'll give it a go. Where Thank you. Numbers? I guess I shouldn't say that because I didn't do anything. Who are you saying thank you to? The guy. Which guy? That guy? Yeah, he's, yeah, like, he's clapping ah, for it. Excellent. So you can speak. Hmm. Interesting. I just on a weird island. The rain, sort of. you also fail to identify this creature. Some people tell me I don't speak good. Erebus, delving into your deep mind knowledge, you somehow outwizard the wizard. You've identified this as a roper. These are a series of chaotic evil creatures. They like to go on adventures and do adventuring stuff and ask people questions. They're like super adventurers. They have uh, six long strands that they can use to pull people towards them. When they touch people with those strands, it begins to drain the strength from their body. Nasty. Yeah. Wow. Well, I'm staying back. They have SR and vulnerability <clears throat> to fire. They're immune to electricity. They resist cold 10. There you go. You I kind of look over. Stuff. You start saying this stuff, I kind of look at the uh, lava. It's like, huh. That sucks. He's like, how are you doing, adventurers? Yes, am I okay? You okay, I guess. Ooh. Rain Dust, what are you saying to him? Oh, thank you. It's really nice of you to clap for people. Some people don't, I mean, when you're down here, people don't usually know it. Like, you're usually alone, and then you have to kill things, and then you move on. But you're actually here watching. It's kind of it's kind of cool. I mean, I didn't do anything, but thank you for thinking that. So he kind of nods along, and he says, I'm afraid I didn't understand much of what you said. Hi, I think you have an open microphone. He says, I'm afraid I didn't understand much of what you said. Your tongue is not one that I speak. Do any of you speak under common? Yes. Can you translate for me then? Okay. Says, I am Orivon. I am extremely bored. I will play a game with you. For every question that you ask, I get one question as well. Uh, that doesn't sound like a very entertaining game. I like games. I want to play. He says, it's immensely entertaining when you're infinitely old. I'm not really infinitely old, am I? He says, but if you play your cards right, you could be. Is there a threat? How is threatening that you will live longer a threat? Well, indirectly, if you're saying I won't live very long, I it's not kind of saying that you might kill me. He just kind of rolls his eyes at Rain Dust and is like, you do not have to translate anything he says in the future. <laughs> uh, okay. So... Are you sure we can't play? I don't care. Ooh, I'm just supposed to be looking at the stuff. You guys are the experts down here. I just kind of got cold. Ah, whatever. Ask him a question. Let him ask. Ask him what are his weaknesses. Uh, no, if he has no, any no, special no, attacks. No, no. If what do you any... do? <laughs> what, what do you do for fun? Because you say you're bored. This is fun. I do not have fun, as you would say. I have not had visitors in some time. Uh, my job, yes, that is what you mortals call it. A job is to stand here and watch. Uh, that does sound boring. Now allow me to ask a question. Why do you explore dungeon? Because the Pathfinder Society tells me to. Hmm. Interesting. So you do it because someone tells you to. Yeah. It's kind of a job. We get paid. Intriguing. That's our job. Self-improvement. Plus, there's lots of like old and nice things down here. Is anybody else speaking paid. I do. I say I keep it because I need to pay my food supply. I it's very too. high. He's like, yes, food supply. That is a subject I understand greatly. 
you know, every time I make a day job, it goes towards 100% food. <laughs> that plus 40 to alchemy. So it's like, that's a lot of food. Mm. It just keeps humming. Interesting. Should, should we continue looking around? I don't, I don't know. Like, well, it's your turn. You can ask me a question. I already know what I'm interested in. I'm asking if he's got any special attacks. <laughs> Where does that door lead? Usually, usually people get defensive when you ask them stuff like that. He says, yes, that door leads to the alchemy laboratory. They're working on something special in there. Now I get to ask a question. What do you suppose happens to the mind of a person who is petrified? He's petrified. What kind of silly questions is this guy asking? Wait, were any of us petrified by the basilisk, or did we avoid that? I think everybody avoided it, right? All right. I'm trying uh, to see if you know from personal experience. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, we've had that happen plenty of times. I don't think Frindus has ever been petrified before. Fortunately, haven't had that happen. I don't know. I, I, th does it, that, that one guy said that it, it, my mind becomes petrified too. Hmm, interesting. By the way, what's your name? Ah, uh, that's your question? Very no, well. No, no, I, I turned around is... to whisper to Anosh because I don't know anybody's name. Oh. <laughs> I'm train. Oh, okay. Sorry, I, I said that guy because I didn't know what to say. He says, hmm, very interesting. What is your question? Who rules this level? He says, ah, very interesting question. This level is ruled by a creature by the name of Illuktuar. <laughs> now I get to ask a question. He says... Hmm. While on his way to Sutra readings in Hosaka Noji, the samurai Tojin and his younger pages have to cross the fabled Ku River via ferry. During the crossing, one of the pages gets drunk and takes it upon himself to pester one of the ferry sailors. By the time they reach the other side, the page will have drawn his sword as an idle drunken threat, but before he could use it on the sailor, the sailor strikes him in the head with a fairy pole, knocking him down. Upon seeing this, what should the samurai do? Uh, can I make uh, a motion? Uh, uh, what the uh, heck is that? What the heck kind of stupid ass anywhere. question is that? Well, depending on what, uh, what house is the samurai part of. There's, there's no knowledge check. Well, I asked what house, like, is he... Do each house have different rules of honor? So, when you're asking him, he's like, you cannot ask me questions until you have answered mine. The mm. samurai should uphold the actions of the sailor as they were just, and he acted in self-defense. Mm. Interesting. Very well, you can ask me a question. Can we see? Uh, the train is like looking around for the door. There's is there a door, door anywhere? Uh, there. Will you do anything to impede us if we go through the door and if we choose to leave afterwards? He says that sounds like two questions in one. Very well. The first one. He says if you choose to go through the door, I will not stop you. All right, let's get the hell out of here. This guy's boring the hell out of me. So that's have not fair. I first. have a question. You have to answer his first. Mm. Okay. What is this Pathfinder Society? You find deer and paths? Oh my gosh. I know that feeling. Uh, a long time ago, I thought it was the Hash Grinder Society because everybody, like, their, their lips were moving weirdly. But no, no, you did go around places and try to collect texts and 
do stuff for people. I, actually, I don't really know that much. It's a group of murder hobos that go around taking jobs, and they live on the streets. Uh, murderous creatures, I understand. Listen, well, I knowledge. apologize greatly. I very much enjoyed learning from you. But I'm afraid, as you mentioned, the food supply around here must be upkept. So I'm going to need to eat you. You understand, uh, of course, as fellow consumers of food. Of course. <laughs> uh, I don't. I don't. I don't want to fight or die, or get eaten. It's about this time you notice that each of you has a tentacle near your leg. <laughs> like, ah, nice. It can reach that far. Yes, it can reach. 60 feet. Jesus. 50 feet, sorry. Uh, nice. So I think it's probably going to grab rain dust. Freedom of movement? Interesting. Does freedom of movement stop pull? Anything that would... Tr let, me, let me double check, because it might not, actually. No. Hmm. Uh, because it's not an attempt to it's not an attempt to impede movement. It's just to move you closer. Yep. Okay, so it's it a, attempts no. to make a touch attack against your AC. My touch AC is oh, oh, oh doesn't oh. matter. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yep. Not that high. <laughs> All right. Uh, yep. You need to is make it a... a fort save as you are become numbed and weakened by this strange material. Oh, so good. Otherwise, you would have gotten hit for 2d6 strength. All right. Ooh. It makes a pull attempt against you to pull you towards it. We can strength damage it. 34. Beats me by 10. All right. It pulls you five feet towards it. Oh, it can only do five? Yeah, it, it doesn't get more. It just has pull five. All right, Aster. Ah. Uh, so is it a combat maneuver check to grapple someone, or is it just pulling? Yes. Well, freedom movement, that's what it does. It's all combat maneuver checks to grapple the target automatically fail. It's not well, this, is, this isn't impeding a movement. Ah. It's just pulling you closer. Okay. How, how hard is it like to stand on uh, yeah. The, yeah. this thing? You'd have to make an acrobatics check. It's only two feet wide. That's pretty okay. wide still, but yeah, I'll have the dinosaur make that. So let's see. I think acrobatics literally has an option for only two feet wide. Um, surface is one to three feet wide. You must make a, a five acrobatics to walk on it without falling. Oh yeah, that's easy. At half speed. While using your acrobatics, you're considered prone and you lose your dex bonus. Oh wait, what? Yeah. Uh, can you, like, do a better acrobatic check to nul nullify that? <laughs> a better acrobat? I don't think so. You're no, walking just like, carefully along the, the road path. But no, like, a higher DC to, like, not be prone. Not according to the rules. Huh. You, don't go pr you don't go prone, right? You're flat -footed. Yeah. Oh, if you take damage while using acrobatics, you must make an acrobatics check or hold falling and getting knocked prone. So it does get an AOO, right? Uh, what floor are the players uh, on? It's then let's see. I'm going to have to rethink about that a lot. Okay. Why is everybody... There's all sorts of fucking rulers going up all over the place. I feel like I'm in a rave. All right, so that, what are you doing, Aster? What is this black stuff? Uh, is it more? What black stuff? All, like, over here. Um, oh, that. That's the bad guy that you're clicking on right now. No, this this stuff here. The wall? Oh, that's a wall. Okay. Yeah. yeah. The wall. What is that black away. stuff? It's a wall. Just like all the other black stuff you normally encounter. Let's see. Well, I just want, uh, I don't know what to do. I'll, I think I'll just move back for now. Okay, Erebus. I am going to fly backwards and cast Scorching Ray against this guy. Okay. Wait a minute, Esther. Why do you care about the fire? You have life bubble. 
What? Life That's level not going to do nauseous. anything. Yeah. No. yeah. Okay. What? Right. It's not do you, do you think the lava. lava is negated by the... No, no, it's not. Fire it damage. Could be. No. You know, thinking my hat, my head isn't covered in a bubble protects my entire body from lava. <laughs> I yeah. believe so your whole course. body's covered in uh, a bubble. It's not just okay. a SR check there, Rubis. Yeah. Okay. Uh, like so, you're firing your lasers at this thing. They all look like they're gonna hit dead on, and then they all just like go in different directions. Like they refract all over the place. Okay. Anything else? No, I moved. Your sword's like, hey, what the frig, man? It feels like you really were about to apple pie that dude. I know, I thought you were going to stop talking to me. Like, well, <laughs> you know, I wasn't whispering in your head omens of doom and portent, but, you know. No. Rain us. No. Uh, so Sorry... Uh, I create a small explosion of wind that turns into a 30-foot burst of wind. Okay. It's not... It's... It is a thunder burst. Is it a spell-like ability, or is it... it... I, put it I put it in the ability name. It's EX. It is extraordinary. Somehow. <laughs> and what's the damage type? Just bludgeoning? Bludgeoning, so DIR plays. Okay. Takes almost no damage then. Yeah. Uh, so he's gonna take half of sixty nine, which I'm gonna guess is like thirty four. Yep. And he's like, no, no need to apologize. It is I who is stepping out of place. Okay. I'm as a swift very action. Hungry. As a swift action, I'll activate my wings of flying and try to five foot back. Okay. Hmm. Do die. All right. This is. Start with the type of creature I least want to fight. Um, but looks like things need to be done. Um, hmm. Can't get there on a single move. So he is going to. What style are you in, by the way? He, he is automatically in um, snake style at the beginning of combat from combat style master and he swift action activates monkey style whenever he starts combat okay so those that's his swift action uh, he is going to go ahead and uh, you know what he needs to be in close combat and so he will, uh, I guess he ends up double moving into the enemy square. Okay. You're going to, hey, whoa. That is correct. And the Roper has more priority over it in terms of damage. Uh, 32 to hit. That does not hit. Okay, what is your AC? 44. And what's your touch AC? 39. You have a 39 touch AC. That is correct. Okay. Thanks. Externally creatures. Okay, uh, how far uh, does things reach? 50 feet. Damn. If I'm in range, let me see. Do, 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 do. Well, um, gonna, hmm. I'm gonna start wobble, well, flying wobble this way. Do I provoke? Nope. Okay, cool. Do, 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 do. Get to the back. Okay, cool. Not in reach of spells. And I ask, do you mind if I fireball? I do not mind. Okay, I'm going to burn a point to increase the level on my fireball. 
we do spell pin before I get my hopes up. And I treat it. Ah. Uh, okay. <clears throat> you do launch a fireball. It doesn't spell pin this creature. So Sad face. It just creates like a shield around itself, and the fire like flows over its skin while doing no damage. Uh, your good friend there, however, is going to have to make a save. I don't think he cares. Yeah. <laughs> Do you have... Yes, he has evasion. Okay. He doesn't care. Alright. I think that he's going to launch everything he's got at Thrain. I knew this was going to happen. Thrain is being a complete jackass to him, right? <laughs> he did... <laughs> Uh, where he was kind of jerkish. Randos is like now flying and moving back. Apparently, this little tiny thing is going to be hard to hit. Rain looks like a pretty solid threat. Hasn't acted. Going to be pretty easy to deal with. What's your flat foot touch, Rain? Flat footed touch. Yep. It's going to be Oof. 10. I don't know how that would be above that. Okay, one, two. Okay. Those are both going to hit, and then I'm going to roll the pull. Uh, Actually, I think Flatfoot touches 8, because he takes a negative. Wait a minute, that's if they're um, invisible. He does need to take a minus 4 on his attacks, but that's not okay. going to matter. That's going to happen. Pulling him again to here. You need to make three fort saves as he pulls you to the edge of this cavern. Yikes. Okay. Oh, is it? Is, is like he doing the terrible lava? thing I think he's doing? He's going to try dunking us in lava, isn't he? All right. He's going to cook us, right? Oh, damn it. High fort rolls. High fort rolls. <laughs> oh, shit. That's bad. Uh. Uh, my immediate action will ting on the first one. This, uh, crap, okay. yes. Roll your fort again. Three. No, it will not. He's too far. Okay. Don't roll your fort again, Thane. All right. You take 3d6 strength damage. What? You take six points of strength damage. Oh, <laughs> man. That could have been worse. That, that would have been so really, bad. Really, really lucky. lucky. Oh, shit. <laughs> that was so, so is, okay. is I would bow? run away from the edge uh, if I were you. Does he have me, like, I'm not He's not done with his attacks. Oh, okay. he's still He's going. only halfway through. Oh, Oh my. <clears throat> so. Uh, oh. Mm. Roll a port save again, a notch. That one will tick. <laughs> okay. Uh, so it would just be a 20. You're minutes. making him re roll the 20? Yeah, because that's oh, my. I think I was just going to take the 10 then. Yeah, right? yeah. That makes sense. The 20 but. still hits a notch. Mm. Uh, roll port save. <laughs> okay. You don't mm. take anything from that. He. Pulls you closer again. You're now dangling out over the fire. Um, he's going to turn to Subadai and be like, <clears throat> Are you okay with me letting your friend die? I really would prefer you didn't. I, well, I'll tell you what. If you let me eat him, I won't kill any of the rest of you. Do you? I have a backpack full of food if you spare my friend. How much food? Okay, give me a sec. I imagine like 30 pounds. 30 it's pounds? That's ridiculous. It's a, it's a, a bag of creature. holding. It's a bag of holding worth of food. Okay, Where's well, it? tell me how much food it is. About 200 pounds worth of food. I love this scene where Thrain is literally hanging in open air. Nothing is supporting him, but we're having this conversation as he keeps drawing him closer and closer. I start pulling out food. You see all whole turkeys, hams, butter, cool <laughs> drinks. <laughs> How much weight of food did you bring? About 200 pounds worth of food. Okay. He will agree that if the rest of you go away, he will take the bag of food in exchange for your friend's life. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> Everyone's cool with this, right? I didn't want to fight to begin with. I just want to make sure nobody's about to immediately betray him as soon as he puts Strain down on some good solid ground. Maybe... Uh -huh. No one says that out loud. <laughs> no, He's a chaotic evil creature. I mean, 
you know. I'm not sure I trust him, but I also want to make sure that Thrain lives, so I'm not going to do anything. Yeah, I think Life Bubble will let him leave under 